So should you start a second YouTube channel? I actually just started my second channel, but there's a lot of reasons why you might not want to, and it might be a horrible idea if you did start a second channel. So in this video, we're gonna go through why you would want to start a second channel, why it would make sense, and also why you might want to avoid doing that. All right guys, let's get into it. So I'm setting up my studio one final time because I have to tear all of this down and I'll be putting out my next video which is all about my studio and all of that. So one of the questions that I get over and over is how do you create a YouTube channel that's a variety channel? So you want to do travel vlogs, but you also are interested in cameras, and you also want to do 30-day challenges like Matt Diavella. You can go and quit social media for 30 days, work out for 30 days, quit sugar for 30 days. I see this again and again in my comments, and when I look at different channels, I also see this like in the banner. It'll be like, I do tutorials, challenges, reviews, vlogs, X, Y, and Z. So how do I create a channel that combines all of these and finds success? Well, the issue is you can't. And so that's one of the important things when it comes to splitting out your YouTube channel is you really have to think about who your audience is. So I'm gonna go through a few reasons on why you would split your YouTube channel and potentially do multiple channels. And then I'm gonna go into a few questions that you have to ask yourself before you actually make this happen. Because if you do this wrong, you're gonna end up splitting your time among all of these different things and then you're never gonna actually be able to grow one channel. So when I first started my channel, I was taking this approach. And when I dug back into my videos, you can see how I just didn't understand this idea of focusing in. There's one video that's 20 things to do in Thailand, one that's a vlog from Hawaii, one that's an Instagram tutorial, the next is a color grading tutorial, and then the next is a visual experience from a drone. All five of these videos could essentially be different channels depending on how you approach your channel and what kind of value you want to bring to your audience. So by having each one of these videos back to back to back, I'm essentially catering to different audiences because someone who's going to want to watch a vlog might not be interested in 20 things to do in Thailand. Like there might be a travel channel that's more focused on actually going and traveling to these places versus just watching your experience. Those are like two different topics that are two entirely different channels. And then you go into Instagram versus color grading. There's just too many topics blended, which means that there's too many audiences coming and watching your videos, which means that when someone subscribes, they're not going to know what's to expect from your channel because you might come out with a cooking video or you might come out with a tech review. Reason number one on why you would split your channel and do multiple YouTube channels is because you do have varying ideas and topics that you want to cover. So reason number two on why you would want to start a secondary YouTube channel is that you know, you have a core channel that's really working. So this channel, Jevin Dovey, it's going, it's got momentum. I know what kind of content to create for it. I have a schedule, I'm consistent. Now that's great, but if you have other aspirations and you wanna shoot other styles of content, you're gonna to have to have somewhere to put that content. So creating a secondary channel after you have success on one could just be a place where you can kind of dump anything. And I know a few of you have reached out in the comments and said that you, this is the kind of approach that you go after. You have your core channel, you know what to make for it, and then your secondary channel is kind of just whatever you wanna create. There's no really goal of making that take off, like it'd be great if that second channel took off, but it's more of a creative space. It's a space for you to kind of just play around, shoot anything that you want, not really have to worry about a structure and a path and a goal or anything like that. It's just a place for you to be creative. And I think this is an important thing just for creators in general. Like if you're doing the same thing over and over and over and you never have that time to have some creative flexibility and go shoot something different, then you, you're gonna get worn down and you're not gonna wanna keep creating the content that you're creating. This channel, Jevin Dovey, was actually created because of a creative rut I was in. My production company shoots fitness videos. For years, all I did was shoot fitness videos. The same thing, week after week after week. And it just started wearing on me and I was like, I need to do something more creative. So that's why I started Jevin Dovey. It actually started as Wanderworks, it was a travel vlog. I changed it, evolved it, that's a whole different story, but this channel became my creative outlet. Now that I've got this channel over 500,000 subscribers, I've found success with this channel, I know it works, well, now might be a good opportunity for me to start a second channel because you know that's a place where I could just kind of make whatever and not have to focus solely on the audience that I've developed here. So reason number two on why you would start a secondary channel is to have that place for just a creative outlet. 
Well, this sounds good, but should you still start a second channel? Cold brew. So either you have a ton of different ideas and you split that up into different channels, or you just want to create a second channel as a creative outlet. But here are some questions that I want to ask you before you go down this path, because when you build out a second channel, there's going to be a lot of strain on your first channel. And we'll get into that in one second. So question number one is why do you want to do the content that you're creating? So why do you want to vlog or why do you want to co create a cooking channel? I think first you really need to define your why. So why is it that you're creating? I want to help creators. I want to help you guys find success on your channels. That's why I create the content that I create. So what is your why? What is your goal? And when you figure that out, is this something that you need to have multiple channels? Like if your goal is to help people fix their bikes. You're a mountain bike rider, passionate about showing people how to fix everything on your bike. Well, maybe you just wanna focus on that rather than splitting out your time and your energy into another channel that's about your vlogs. Maybe you're not actually that interested in creating your vlogs. You're just watching a lot of vlogs because you like consuming that kind of content. You need to ask yourself what is important to you and why are you creating the content you wanna create? And that might focus you in into one channel specifically and just go down that path and not have multiple channels. Now, the second thing you need to think about is will your second channel hurt your main channel? So if you are spending all of your time between two channels, well, you're not gonna be able to create as much content and you're also not gonna be able to put as much time and effort into each. Your time is super important and beyond creating videos, there are other things in life that are important. Your family, your passions, your things outside of creating videos. Do you have the time to put the resources into both channels? Is the secondary channel something that you wanna grow or is it more of a creative outlet? Do you have an editor? Do you have a team working with you? So all of these questions you have to think about, if you have the resources to make a second channel happen and you're able to grow it, that's amazing. Now the third thing I want you to think about is, will your secondary channel complement your first channel? So this is why I decided to split off. I have these films that I wanna create, these outdoor adventure films, these documentaries, and they don't fit this channel. But by creating my second channel, now I have a place to put those films. And it's gonna complement this channel because a lot of the tutorials that I do, the reviews that I do, the education, the different things that I come up with on this channel, I use footage from those films. And I've never really had a place to house them. So instead of going out and shooting like flowers on the street when I do a camera review, I'd rather take that camera, go shoot a project with it, and actually have some knowledge about using that product, and then be able to take that footage and create my videos here on this channel. Also for me, because I teach YouTube education, it's great to start at a channel at zero and actually build it up and play around with the different topics that I talk about here and show you on a channel that I'm actually working on. Now it's really cool if you do decide to split two channels is that you'll have different monetization options. So one reason that you really wanna focus in your channel is that you'll be able to figure out monetization options that really focus in on that audience, sponsors or affiliate options. Whereas when you have two different channels, well, you're gonna have two different audiences. Well, you're gonna have opportunities to make money in different ways on each channel. So for my adventure film channel that I'm creating, there's gonna be a whole different world of opportunity for monetization than this channel over here. And I'm starting it now because this channel, I figured out what works and I figured out how to be consistent. Now I have the time and flexibility to be able to put some effort into this secondary channel and we'll see where it goes. Now, one huge strategy to grow these channels that you're creating is to come up with series. So if you go to this video right here, I talk about how you create series on your channels and how that's gonna help you make them grow faster. All right, guys, I'll see you over there.